Okay guys, so this tutorial will be a walkthrough uh, through the character selector and as you see I just launched the application and since I had changed the settings to go straight to that character select screen it just brought me here instead of going to the main editor and as you can see you've got multiple buttons that you can click on here to show the character information in that data slot So you can click through those to find the character you'd like to work with. Uh, let's go through the options here. When there is not an existing character in a data slot, the only option you can do is to create character. Um, however, when there is a character, you'll be able to create a character, edit the character, copy the character, move them, or delete them. Um, and if there's an existing character in this plot when you do create a character, it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite the character because they will be lost. Um, we'll just do yes, but even if there's not a character, this will be, it'll work through the same way. Um, okay. So there's the two types, regular, which is the Soul Calibur cast and original, which are the customs that you would make in creation. Uh, you can see when you select a gender here, it's going to pop up with their heights. And you can hover over those and select one. The one that's selected will keep that beam of light as well as it'll show you right here. So then if you wanted to make a female height too, you would be able to go right here and click create it and it's going to ask you if the character type and everything is right and if you want to overwrite the information in the data slot 1 we selected so it would overwrite that character I don't want to make a female height 2, I want to make a cast character so we'll go back um, you can click through here and see that most characters will have their 1 player, their 2 player and their customizable version However, characters like Ezio, Wizard Man, and Dampier, they only have their one player and two player. So you can't really do too much with them. But pretty much every other character does have those customizable. And yeah, so when you select it, it'll say you've the character type is regular, which is the Soul Calibur cast. The character you selected is Patroclus, and you want to make his one player. So if you were to create it, it's going to ask you if that information is correct, and if you want it to go in data slot 1. And it'll overwrite that character. Uh, let's do no, because I want to make a Tira, because Patroclus sucks. So Tira, customizable, regular, and we're want, we do want it to overwrite that character in data slot 1. So now that default customizable character Tira is created, uh, we're going to skip over edit just for a second and we're going to go to copy. This will copy from the slot selected, so if you want to copy from slot 31 you can do it there, or if you go to slot 31 here and do copy, it'll automatically select that for you and that character will copy to the boxes selected here. So if you wanted to go to slot 1 and 50, you could select those and then copy. Um, you can move the character and it'll move it from slot 31 to a single slot that you would like. So you can do that. Or you can delete the character, which will erase the character completely and then you'd only be able to create a character in that slot. Uh, some other tools up here uh, link back to that main editor a character picture copy which I'm going to be honest as of right now probably won't work I will work on the coding for that and see what I can do um, but it will be there in the future and to, for that tool, you copy from a game another game save. So like I've got a ton here. Let's old game saves. There we go. 
Um, so it'll copy the picture from the data slot one on that old game save to the data slot one on this game save. And it's got to be that same slot because if you copy from another slot, it can cause issues and corrupt this game save. And I don't want to do that. So we've also got delete all customs here, which if you click yes, all of these characters will be deleted. And the only way to get those back would be to load the uh, backup because everything you do in here does save as you go. So beware there. Um, Let's see. Let's actually go in and edit that Tira now that we've gone through all the tools. No, oh, actually first. On both the main and the character selector, they've got that little envelope window. Let's go back to the main and show you where that is. Right here. This will send me an email about just whatever you'd like it to be. You can say, Violet Vodka, you suck dick, you know. Because it's true, I do. I don't care. But um, if there's a comment you want to make or a request, you can do that in other or comment. It doesn't matter what it's labeled, but it just helps me. If there's a, a bug in the game save that you want me to address, you can type the message about it here. Um, and if you want to reply, leave your email, but otherwise you don't have to. And that'll send me an email. and that is in both. You can access that from the character selector and the main. Let's go here and edit the character. And as you can see here, this load could take a while. And that's because with the color data, there is a lot of coding there. And if it's, it just takes a while to load all of the colors and go through it the first time. So, It'll take a while to read through it this time, but then if you were to go back through and select, say, slot 49 and edit that character, it'll load much quicker. It's just got to read through the coding and see what it's supposed to do, and unfortunately it does have to do that every time you launch the program. And that's why I uh, released the idle mode, which I'll show you once it loads here. So that's the editor. Yes. So I'll actually just close that, and as you can see, the SoCalibur 5 editor will now idle to prevent future loading times, and you can fully close the application in the notification area. And from that little tab, you can open the main, open the character selector, or close the application. So we're just going to open that character selector back. And let's go back into the editor. I'll select a different slot just so you can see that since it's done that loading, it opens right up. Okay. So, this is the main editor here, or the character editor, not the main editor. Uh, watch the next tutorial for a quick run through on that, and yeah.